All right, earlier tonight you were angry, Brew, and then you were jubilant, Brew, and now I'm going to like be Debbie Downer and ask you about USC. <laughs> um, I'm still taking a visit December 1st, my official, and I mean, with everything going on with SC, I've kind of taken the back seat, let them figure out their things. Still, I still keep my relationships, still stay in communication as best as possible, and, you know, I'm not really, my mind's not really in the place of, you know, thinking about what college I'm going to right now, but... Things, things are fine. I'm not really worried about what's going on. That happens all the time. It's college football. It's a business. So keep that in the back of my mind. That's what, just a perspective. We're just, just how you guys it's are It's a business, yeah. Right. We talk about it. Congratulations on the win. But I'm getting perspective from another – about USC football. If you, were, if you were a 2019 kid in the coaching situation at USC, how would you approach that? Sweat it out. Honestly, I – if I was 2019, I'd probably wait till signing day. To be honest, that's how I do. Are you? I, would you be nervous about it? Because there's a lot of guys on your football team that have high interest in you. Yeah. Including you. Yeah. But is is it a point to where that you think they need to change? Whatever happens, happens. You know, I, I still whatever whatever coaches I still feel the same way about USC. I love Coach Hun. I love the program right now. Uh, my feelings are going to change about him, but regardless of what, I still love USC. Kevin Milton here at the modern day Bosco game. First of all, what brings you to Southern California? You know, just a lot of homies on the team. My, my brother Elias wanted to see him ball out. Our season ended sadly, but came out here and watched the homies ball out. And tomorrow you're going to be at USC Notre Dame? Yes, sir. A lot going on at USC right now. <laughs> so, what do you, from, from your perspective, what, what is it like to watch what's going on at USC? If you were a 2019 guy, would it be concerning? Oh yeah, uh, especially the, the situation, the talk about uh, Coach Helen being removed. Uh, I would just sit back, see what happens with the staff, be able to talk to the new staff coming in and see how they feel, how I can make an impact on the team and just go from there. For a lot of you guys, the interest goes beyond who's coaching that football team. Just talk about that part of it. Oh yeah, the, the big part is the academics. You know, academics, football ends at some point, so you gotta go to a school that has that strong alumni base. That they're, they're gonna take care of you after football. And also, the, uh, you got to figure out the teammates. You got to figure out if you feel comfortable in that environment. That plays a big role. I just saw you guys lost a close game. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, you're watching a good game here. Just yeah. talk about what you did, modern day in Bosco. Are these two teams that kind of stand out maybe just a little bit better than everybody else? Oh, yeah. No disrespect yeah. Oh, yeah. or anything like uh -huh. that. Because I haven't oh, seen them yeah. play. Yeah, I came out here. Uh, these two teams, fast, physical, fun football. And it's been great to watch. Seeing them, how they play football with such intensity, it's been a good thing to watch. But, 